I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to convert from rectangular or Cartesian to polar coordinates. So let me sketch one here. This is let's say a Cartesian plane where we have positive x and y axis as shown here. So this is the x axis, that's the y axis. Now as an example, let me take a point. Uh, let's say the point P given to us is 3, 4. So if that is the point in a Cartesian plane, we'll see how to convert this on the polar coordinate system, right? So point P, which is 3, 4, really means you move 1, 2, 3 units along the x. Y is vertical, right? So, so move 4 units along the y. That means 1, 2, 3, and 4. You get to the point, and this point P is 3, 4, right? So that is how you get a point on the polar coordinate system. I mean, on the Cartesian point, right? Now, if I have to convert it to polar coordinate system, what do I do? So, I make another scale. Let me think that we have put the scale on this. So, it will have a pole here and the polar axis, right? So, this becomes the polar axis. And uh, to represent the point, we'll just connect this point with the pole like this. And we say, well, that is the polar coordinate, right? <laughs> so simple where this value is r for us and this angle is theta for us. So we converted this to another point P, which is actually the same point, written as r theta. Well, now the question is, what is the value of r and what is the value of theta? So that is what we mean when we say convert Cartesian to polar coordinates. That means find the value of r and find the value of theta distance from the pole and the counterclockwise angle theta. This is what we want, right? So let us see how to calculate this. Now, we'll do a bit of construction, take you back to trigonometry, okay? And then we will do the needful. So this is uh, kind of to teach you how, what are the steps involved. So I'm dropping a perpendicular from here to the x-axis, that forms a right triangle, correct? And as you know, this distance here is x value, which is 3 units. And that is 4 units. Is that okay? Now, in general, let's take a general description and then we'll do this particular question also. In general, any point P, which is x and y. So if I replace this point with x and y, in this case, that value will be x and this value will be y, correct? So in that case, we can write cos of theta as equals to x over r, right? x over r. So that gives me the value of x as equals to r times cos theta, right? And the value of sine theta is equals to y over r. That means that the value of y could be written as r times sine theta. Using Pythagorean theorem, we can write r square equals to x square plus y square. So what we have done here is, we have converted x, y to r and theta, and that is what is polar coordinate system, right? So we'll apply this knowledge and then find what r is and what theta is. So what is r equals to? So as you can see from this right triangle, r is equals to, rather let's start with r square, equals to 3 square plus 4 square, right? The x square plus y square, right? So which is 9 plus 16, which is 25. So I've taken a very simple example. So r should be square root of 25, which is equals to 5. So we know what r is, right? So we got r equals to 5. Now how do you find theta? You can use tan theta, right? So tan theta equals to y over x or 4 over 3. So theta equals to tan inverse of 4 over 3. So that is the value of theta. At times, you can use calculator to find this approximate value. Say inverse, tan inverse, 4 divided by 3 equals to, you get 53.130. Let's say this much degrees approximately, right? So now the answer could be written as point P, R values 5, right? 
So it is actually, if the answer is to be written in exact values, we prefer to write this as tan inverse of 4 over 3. Do you get it? But if you want to write it in round values, you could write this as 53.13 degrees also. Correct? So that is your exact value. And this one is round to hundreds. So that is how you could easily convert from Cartesian to polar coordinates, right? So this is kind of a review. We'll take a few examples, especially uh, when we have a point Q. Let us say we take a point Q where these values are not both positive, right? So if it is a negative 2 and 7, how will this point be written in the polar coordinates? And if I have a point, let's say, uh, M, which is, uh, let's say, 3 minus 5, right? How do we do these points? So these are the questions which we'll look into uh, in another video, right? So how to represent negative R value and, uh, and 3, because that may become slightly tricky, right? So let's look into that in the coming videos. I'm Anil Kumar. And I hope this basic video helps you to understand how to convert from Cartesian or rectangular system to the polar system. Thank you and all the best.